what's happening what's happening what's happening shout out to all those beginner investors and traders out there y'all already know who it is but if you don't this is Kavar Ray Valentine. You done pulled up to the block market. This is Hood Money Invested. I wanted to holler at y'all about AMC once again because like we said over here, there's going to constantly be an influx of new subscribers or new investors that may not understand what's going on. And when you come over here, we want to give you the real. All right, AMC was a shorted stock. Some illegal activity was going on. Uh, a lot was uncovered with GameStop and more is being uncovered with AMC. At the moment, you would think the way that they are talking as far as regulating, you know, the market and all this, that things are going to change. But over here, I want to say this because. I mean, I'm telling you, after this is over, it's going to be a lot of disappointed investors because a lot, I'm talking about 95% of these content creators on YouTube, they are fooling the hell out of you people. And a lot of them are actually a part of the establishments, regardless if you don't want to believe it or not. And I'm going to constantly say this. It's no way in hell. That you pop up out of nowhere within nine months, a year, under seven months, and damn near get 100,000 subscribers, 200,000 subscribers, 300,000 subscribers. That is not happening just because of the rally of AMC. That is that. That's not happening. And you guys are not listening to some of these content creators. I have been in this for years. I just started trading, like really swing trading about almost a year ago. In uh, September, it'll be a year. Like September, October, it'll be a year that I started swing trading. And I'm still learning, like literally. I mean, and I don't push it every day. So I would be lying to say that every single day for hours like I used to be months ago on it. I'm not like that anymore, but I still am learning. And you have content creators that are telling you guys that they haven't even been trading for a year. And it's almost amazing that for them to sound as professional as they do, none of you are being like or are like cautious about that or wondering how can you sound so professional and and know damn near everything about charting, graphs, data, these technicals, and you just came out of nowhere. I guarantee you, when AMC does not go over 1,000, does not go over 500, these people are going to make the biggest excuses. Well, they won't have to because they'll use the DTCC, the SEC, paper hands, They'll use those excuses to uh, 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 hide that they are with these establishments. If you people cannot see how many people popped up out of nowhere once AMC started getting the traction that it, it started to get with all these shorted companies, it's unbelievable that people can't see this. And, you know, like I said, I like to go back to my, my YouTube channel because I like to show people. I did not just start talking about stocks or for beginners just like when AMC started popping. You know what I'm saying? So I started my uh, this page. Well, I started another page, but it got shut down like. I did something wrong, so something happened. So uh, I ended up having to hurry up and do this one. So as you can see, this is going back. We're going back. Uh, this is eight months. As you can see, uh, you know, talked about the market crash, Vivian Solar. Uh, right there, you see GameStop eight months ago. Eight months ago, that was at least four months before the squeeze. Five months before the squeeze. I mean, I mean, not the squeeze on GameStop, but before GameStop happened to run up because GameStop actually never squoze. OK, so as you can see, uh, I was I was dealing in trying to bring uh, beginners and people that were curious about the stock market into, you know, 
this realm as far as having something to go off of. I never thought, you know, that, you know, I would help millions of people or thousands. I was just trying to give people information about the stock market and what it could possibly do if you educate yourself. You see what I'm saying? So as you can see, I talked about Bitcoin. I talked about Nokia. I mean, that, you know, is a... Uh, looking to be something looking for that that might have some potential in the future based on what they're doing with you know uh space and all that as you can see gamestop you know uh as you can see right here seven months ago where i predicted that gamestop would go over a hundred dollars and gamestop was only about 12 13 bucks at the time you see what i'm saying and this was seven months ago so I don't want people to think that I'm jumping into this trying to ride AMC's wave. I happen to be a beginner in swing trading that got caught up into the belief of how a squeeze was working. OK, or how it worked or how it uh, happened to come about. And uh, I ended up getting caught up in the uh, the, the the FUD and uh the, the 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 subscribers the the what the youtube content creators that were out there talking about gme was going to a thousand and all this and and remember i was a beginner so as i was learning some of the technicals and the data i didn't well you know i didn't understand what could stop it or you know the illegal activity i didn't know any of that so when i could have sold most of my shares at GameStop at $500 a share, I literally held. I held, but but it was a great thing for me because I've been buying GameStop since $5 a share. So it wasn't a, like I was winning either, either way because I never planned on getting rich off of GameStop. I just did some calculations about a year ago and I knew based on the console cycles, you know, coming back up with Xbox, uh, uh, PlayStation, the Wii, the games, Cyberpunk, Dragon Ball Z, Predator Hunting Grounds, Call of Duty uh, DLC packs. It was just ridiculous how many games were coming out w during the pandemic. And within, you know, th th during that pandemic, people found, you know, that comfort and that, that excitement back with gaming. So, and I, and I, I mean, I even have a Twitch, you know what I'm saying? I just, um, here we go. See what I'm saying? I just ended up, uh, 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 you know, I had to, uh, upgrade it. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I have a Twitch, you see? So I started gaming again. So I knew I had a feeling based on, I didn't know it was going to go to a hundred like that fast, but I figure it will go past. $67 or $68, which would, was normal, you know, during the console cycles around over 60. So I knew that it could possibly go over that because we're talking about the PlayStation 5. We're talking about the new Xbox. We're talking about new games. We're talking about a new quantum system. You know what I'm saying? Upgrades, you know, digital systems. So I, I'm saying to myself, this is not two th the early 2000s. You see what I'm saying? So I know about the upgrade that the world is about to take. So I had a feeling like, yo, this could go over a hundred bucks. I was right. GameStop is $200 right now, over $200 right now. You see what I'm saying? So I'm not coming on this channel to, you know, just talk about AMC. Like I know exactly what's going on. I'm saying, I know based on the rug that was pulled under us from GameStop, I know they're more equipped to uh, use what happened with GameStop to, you know, rob the people, thinking people, you know, making people think that they are making great trades and they are the ones that are manipulating the stock and pulling it back up and down, making money off calls and puts and constantly shorten it. You know what I'm saying? Which is an easy way to control the psychological aspect of the game. But people don't know that because you have so many new investors jumping in. They really believe just off what they're being told about the technicals that this is going to go to the moon. And this same thing happened with GameStop. I'm not trying to spread no fear. I'm not trying to spread no doubt. I'm talking about facts. Why hasn't you? OK, for example, 
Go look at any YouTube content creator that's out there that just started talking about AMC within the last three to four months. And I guarantee you all of them have been using the same titles, just re recycling them. It's like one of them will use the same title, then another one will use it, but then the other one will switch it up. Just go look. Oh, this is the, this is the, uh, it's just, I don't want to try to say no names, but I'm telling you, you guys are getting fooled. I'm telling you, and I guarantee you, when AMC does not go over 1,000, does not go over 500, I guarantee you a bunch of them are going to disappear, and a bunch of them are not going to try to talk about AMC and try to move to the next stock. And then a lot of you are so brainwashed and new to this that you're just going to think that Oh, okay. It's it's just the next play. You're not going to think about how you just got deceived for six months and the stock that you thought was going to the moon never did while these people were making tens of thousands of dollars in YouTube revenue monthly just because they can constantly keep you coming back, believing to keeping you in like this realm to believe that this stock is going to do what you think it is when they already told you it's being manipulated. That right there should have, a, you should have enough suspicion with anybody telling you a stock is going to a thousand or a hundred thousand dollars. Before the BS, before we, you know, could clearly see that all these people were working together, yes, we thought we had a chance. But at the moment, all these institutions are getting in and making money off the backs of the people. And if you think that's not what's going on with AMC and the reason why they're letting that get out there now, you are fooling yourself. They are using this stock to try to revitalize other companies by getting you to believe that these companies are being shorted as well. So you can do the same thing so they can make that money back that they gave for the stimulus and everything else right back. These people are not, I'm telling you, but listen, I'm going to, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. AMC will bounce around 40 to $60 for the next two months. Watch what I tell you. Watch what I tell you, but watch why, watch these content creators keep saying 40 to 100, 40 to 1,000. It'll be 1,000 next week. How many of them told you it was going to be 100 on Monday? How many told you it was going to be 100 on a Friday? How many of them told you it was going to be 1,000 last week? Please, people, wake up. This is Kavai Ray Valentine. You done pulled up to the black market. This is hood money investing. I'm out of here, man. They out there panicking right now. I can feel it. They out there. They're panicking. Look at them. Now, you're not naive enough to think we're living in a democracy, are you, buddy? It's the free market. And you're part of it. Something just came across my desk, John. It is perhaps the best thing I've seen in the last six months. If you have 60 seconds, I'd like to share the idea with you. You got a minute? After everything we've done for you. Oh, see, I made Lewis a bet here. Lewis bet me that we could both get rich and put you on the poorhouse at the same time. He didn't think we could do it. I won. I lost. One dollar. Thank you, Louis. After you. Certainly. <laughs>